What's the haps? I'm Moronka and welcome to the Advent of Indies for December 15th. Today's developer is Freebird Games. We know Freebird Games quite well around here. Uh, Freebird Games are the makers of To the Moon, which uh, is debatably one of the best games ever. Certainly I hold it in extremely high regard, if not the best game ever. Uh, the premium game today is a bird story, which I recently played on my channel and would heartily recommend you check out. And the freebie game today is this, which is SIGCORP, or it's also referred to in the files as SIGGY. Uh, it's on the Advent of Indies website, it's referred to as the To The Moon Holiday Special Minisode. And I'm, <laughs> I'm recording now because it just throws you in without any warning. I guess I can just use my recording timer to do 15 minutes because it's gone without me again. Uh, so this is this was made last year. It was kind of it was pushed out as kind of a freebie for people who already owned the game. Anybody who owned To the Moon, it was like, hey, there's a new entire game in your files. You went to game files. There's a new exe there uh, entitled Siggy.exe, and it's a mini side story, completely uh, separate to To the Moon, but set in the same universe, starring the same characters. It's a little. Uh, I'm not sure where chronologically it happens. I think it's after the events of To the Moon, sort of between jobs, as it were. This is just the company that our two protagonists work for, and a little bit into the scenes behind behind what's going on, a little bit of the world. Uh, I have played through this before, and it is very good. Uh, but it's been a while. It's been about a year, I guess, since it came out last Christmas. So it's been about a year since I played this, so I don't recall all the details. So let's play through it again. Hey, Eva! Come to my office. I've got some. Neo, where are you? The meeting started an hour ago. What? Ah, uh, Neil Watts. You so silly. Wait, there's no meeting today? Yeah, and I'm not dumb. Twice in one day? Really? Besides, that's actually dangerous. What if it hit my, hits my head without without tipping over? But you still made it hit in my head. That's different. Yours is pretty thick. Well, I still got you once. Excuse me for giving you a chance to even the scores. But seriously, drop by. I actually do have something to show you. Just give me a few first. You gonna go say hi to them at the party downstairs? Maybe later. Grab me a drink if you go. Controls! Oh, control... Wait, oh, yeah, it said control is mouse, but uh, control can be done WSD. This is, uh, as with all the Freebird stuff, this is RPG Maker stuff. It's very, very pretty RPG Maker stuff. It's very heavily customized graphically RPG Maker, but not RPG Maker nonetheless. So I think if I hold... Oh, that's right, yeah, we've got outdoor and indoor areas. So some areas you can sprint, some areas you can't. This is indoors, so we cannot sprint here. The out outside the windows at the back is interesting. We must be real. This must be a really, really tall building because there are clouds outside the building at the back. That's interesting. Uh, so I guess the flashing rooms are rooms we can go into, maybe. No. There are stars on things. Can I go into these? No. They flash with stars for no reason. I think it's just downstairs. She's just going to the party, right? Uh, Z is to interact with things, right? I don't know what I'm trying to interact with. Maybe I should just go in. Maybe the open door is probably where I need to go. That could be it. Yeah. Is this the thing we wanted? No. I move even slower in here. Nope, nothing to see. Nothing to see here. This is a slightly confusing building if you don't know your way around. Oh, is it just at the end of the corridor? No. Is it in here? No. No. Let's go see what Neil's doing. Oh. oh, you can just go. Hey, it's not ready yet. Okay, he just gets annoyed if you do that. Oh, I have to press the button to hold the elevator. Right, that makes sense. Okay, I'm a derp. I'm a massive derp. Lol, stupid. Okay. Let's go to the party. Hey, I remember that ringtone. I probably had that as my ringtone as well. <laughs> all the all the sound effects, including now, they're just kind of in the game files, just like MP3s, and you, all the characters had like there were like loads of phone calls into the moon, and you could just go in there and get their ringtones. And I was like, hey, I'm gonna have a to the moon ringtone as my ringtone because I'm a massive geek. So that works for me. 
What? As a remnant, could you also get me some cake with that drink? How do you know there'd be cake? There's always cake, and I want it. <laughs> I want cake. Well, well, pick one. I'm not your waitress. Hey, so which is it? Neil? Ooh, he's gone. I'm thinking. It's just taking his time to decide whether he wants drink or cake. Look, I gotta go. I'll call you back. Ooh, he's been sneaky and suspicious. Oh, hey, Eva. Ro Roxy, you all right? Huh? Oh, well, we went outside to get something from the car, and... Well, you know. Them again, huh? Well, it is that time of the year. Look, don't tell the others, okay? I don't want everyone to be all tensed up about it. Hmm. Maybe it'll all be cleared by the time everyone leaves. I hope so. Come on, let's go see what the others are up to. Mm-hmm. Not calling... Just pulled out the phone for like no reason. Not calling Neil or what? Just checking your phone. Check your texts. So antisocial. Hey, it's music from To The Moon. What a great soundtrack. They all do. Freeway does some good music. Yeah, I'm not sure. I think, yeah, I think he composes a lot of it himself, but obviously there was some um, uh, uh, Laura Shigihara stuff in the original as well, which is also fantastic, because she is also fantastic. Uh, who do we talk to? Talk to everybody. No one bugs me, Lisa. We can alter memories, and yet I can neither make my hair as buoyant as Logan's nor as silky as yours. Yeah, it's a tragedy. Nice hat. Eva, my dear. Afternoon, Tamer. You know, you never responded to that email I sent you about my nephew. I attached a photo of him and everything. Ah, uh, thanks, but I'm just not lucky. Oh. Try to set her, set her up. It's that boy Neil, isn't it? Oh yeah, something going on there. Some chemistry. She hangs around with him a lot. <laughs> he's a bit weird, though. Okay, he's very weird. <laughs> he's, he's Neil Watts. He's the weirdest man on the planet. What? No. I like to keep my personal and professional life separate. Well, then that's just one more reason why my nephew is perfect for you. You two are going to be so happy together. <laughs> Playing matchmaker. Who's due to the afro? Hey, Eva. Hey, how did that last mission go? I heard you guys ran into complications. It was fine. Bureaucracy just got in the way. But I'm trying to forget about work now. There's enough of that to go around later. Tamer and I are discussing our tastes in early Baroque paintings. They're all good. Yes. Yes, they are. <laughs> oh, okay, old man. Hey, Willis, looks like Logan's pulling a move on your girl over there. Wait, what? Pfft, we ain't going anywhere. Oh, I don't know, Willis. Logan does sing like an angel. I do? Yeah, Willis, I heard he's an exquisite dancer, too. I am? Well, I got three strands of hair on my head, and each of them is willing to fight him in the parking lot. Okay, this is getting too weird for me. Okay, I think I need to go talk to... whatever her name was. I forget what her name was. Look, I know it's hard not to think about it, but worrying doesn't fix anything. I know, but... What was your last patient's wish? Huh? Oh. Well, she wished to see the world. And did she? Yeah, we took her all over. I even caught glimpses of places that I haven't been to. She was so happy. Sounds like you would have really appreciated it. Sounds like she would have really appreciated what you did for her. Hmm. You've helped a lot of people, Roxy. I'm sure I'm sure if they could speak to you, they'd all tell you. What's out there right now doesn't change that. I guess so. I do feel better thinking of that. Thanks, Eva. I suppose, uh, if you haven't played, I'm, I'm, I'm doing a lot of this from the sort of perspective of, I'm assuming you played to the moon. I would very much recommend you do, but I guess not everybody will have done. Uh, and much of this probably doesn't make a lot of sense in context if you haven't played to the moon. 
you very much need to have played that before you see this to really appreciate it, I guess. It's not something I'd consider. I just I just jumped right into this, and really, it's not something I'd consider. And it's well, it's very relevant. Uh, if you're not familiar with Sigmund Corporation or Sigcorp or Siggy, uh, which is the company that these guys work for and the work in which they're doing, uh, what they do is they have the technology. This is some near future kind of dealio. Uh, they have the future to alter a patient's memories to whatever they would want to be. However, in doing so, the process, uh, I believe that in memory says the process is basically fatal, so it's uh, something one would only do to a person on their deathbed. So they find patients who are, you know, not long for this world, who are literally, you know, 24 hours to live kind of thing, and they will go to visit them in their homes and make all of their wildest lifelong dreams come true. Uh, into the moon, the patients, which are not major spoilers, this happens very early on in the game, you've established all this very quickly, it's not a big spoiler, but the guy decides, he's, he's, he, the guy tells them that his lifelong dream was to go to the moon, and so one must play, spend the entire game trying to find out a way to manipulate his memories such that he genuinely believes, deep down in his heart, because you altered his memory, so that when he, in his memory, he knows that he went to the moon. Uh, so this is kind of what their company is. So they clearly Roxanne were talking about someone who wanted to see the world and her job and her mission has taken her out there to see somebody to, to show them the world. They never actually went to see the world, but in their minds they believe they did. And as we saw right right at the start of this game, uh, in this future world this is not necessarily well received by everyone. Everyone in this company absolutely believes that they are a force for God, that what they're doing is changing people's lives and a wonderful thing. Uh, clearly Roxanne sometimes maybe has her doubts. Ava clearly doesn't. She, she very much, much believes it's a force for positivity. And not everyone in this world does because there are protesters outside. We saw them throwing tomatoes right at the start. So we've got people picketing this business because, uh, well, not everyone agrees with it. There's a very interesting world that's been created here. And, uh, as I say, for, well, uh, to the moon, I mentioned a few times, I mentioned when I did my playthrough of a bird story, there was absolutely supposed to be a several more episodes. I think there's supposed to be at least three games in the series in this universe. And I am absolutely dying to see more of this universe. It's a, it's a fantastic concept and a wonderful, wonderful story. It's the holidays, don't let it ruin the mood. Mm-hmm. Oh, I need to get some cake, I guess, or a drink. There is a plate with a slice of cake. Can I get the cake? Get the cake. No? Get a drink? There's a drink there. Get the drink. I need to pick up something to bring back for Neil or he's going to be annoyed with me. No? Cake. Drink. Drink cake. Drink cake cake. Drink. No. No. That's a box of tissues. I probably don't want a box of tissues. Uh, seriously, where do I get my drinks from? Maybe I don't get drinks from here. Maybe I can just go back and see him. See what he says. Just head back on up. Go for the elevator. Now I don't think this thing isn't very long, although it probably would probably be shorter if I didn't spend half my time yammering on about backstory for games that many people may not have played. Uh, I think the whole thing's only supposed to be about 20 minutes long, so I could potentially do the whole thing, but again, I, I ramble so much about other junk, uh, it may run to like 30 minutes or more, and that's a little long for what I would like to do for these videos, I think. So I may leave this to you to experience the entire thing for yourself. I know there's a lot of cool stuff goes on in this uh, little side story, mini-sode as it were. Uh, as I say, it is available for free if you... It is available for free, it's in your game files on Steam or on, I believe, GOG, if you got downloaded it through GOG. It is in your... it does appear in your game files. If you go find your directory in which it's in, uh, you can find this. Uh, but you can also download it from the Freebird Games website for free as well, if you... I don't know if you bought to the moon to them and didn't uh, didn't get it, get it updated automatically through Steam and such things. Uh, you wouldn't have got this downloaded, so you can download it from them. Or indeed, if you just want to play it on your own. But as I say, it's kind of maybe a little bit strange out of context if you haven't played to the moon. So if you haven't done that, I would very much recommend you go buy that, play that, and then come and check out the minisode because the minisode relies on that kind of heavily. Mine's busy. I can't go in there. 
15 minutes is just about up though, so I'm not sure if we're going to see too much more of this. Can I check out my computer at my desk? I cannot. Where the heck has that man gone? There's a lot of building to explore, and there are many, many rooms and it's slow to walk between them because, because RPG Maker and whatnot. Limits on the movement speeds and hot knots, you know. So, oh, there he is. Good try, but there's no water bucket this time. Is everything okay? You seem distracted. What? Yeah, it's all good. I'm fine. Anyways, I'm just about wrapping this up. I'll call you when it's done, Ava. Okay, back to work. Alrighty. Can I burst in on him again? I can. Patience is virtue, Ava. I like the poster on the wall. It just says, you rock. <laughs> That's quite cool. Uh, I can't Im I can't immediately remember where I need to go next, so rather than spend several minutes uh, bumbling my way around the building, uh, maybe I'll leave it there for a second, uh, for, well, for now, for forever, for today, for for this game. At any rate, because uh, this is available for free to download through Freebird Games, you should check it out. Uh, you should definitely check it out if you played To The Moon. If you've not played To The Moon, you should check that out and then check this out. And of course, there is obviously uh, the Advent of Indies daily freebie giveaway to win a copy of A Bird Story, uh, which is completely standalone from To The Moon, uh, but does again tie into the same universe, so it would behoove you to play To The Moon first. Uh, you totally can play A Bird Story, you're not, you're not going to miss anything in the story if you play A Bird Story separately, but it does tie into the universe and is re there, it is relevant. If you play To The Moon, there are relevant things that you'll be like, oh, right, at the end of. And it's also on my channel if you want to go check that out as well. So yeah, that's cool. And of course, yeah, like I say, freebie, give freebie giveaway, enter your details. You could win a copy of A Bird Story and that's cool too. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. I've been Maroka. This has been Freebird Games' To The Moon Holiday Special Minnesota Sig Corp Stroke Siggy whatever the hell it is. Uh, I'll see you with more Indies tomorrow. Yeah!